Hi Church, hope you're having a great day, whatever time it is that you're watching this devotion. My name's Darren, one of the pastors at Audacious Church, and it is great to be with you today for this devotion. Got my Christmas jumper, same one as earlier, and put my hood up, keep it like that, I'll put it down, and uh, I'm going to just... I'm um, just talk to you about these last few weeks where we've been on on a journey. It's been an amazing journey over the last few weeks of the roads, the fields and Bethlehem, seeing and hearing firsthand about God's master plan, the promise that he would send us a saviour, Jesus. Uh, ordinary people like you and I were part of this extraordinary plan, seeing miracles far beyond what was expected, being involved, enduring difficulties, walking through the unknown and ultimately realising a promise fulfilled. The Christmas story is still unfolding and we are still a huge part of this amazing plan with full access to God the Father through our belief in God the Son and the power that lives within us through God the Holy Spirit. Let's commit today to continue to be a part of God's master plan to be like Mary and Joseph who positioned themselves and journeyed into the miracles of God to trust him in the gap open to the opportunities around us faith, faithfully in faithful in our serving confident in God's timing and strong in our convictions let's also be like the shepherds who saw the miracles, who heard the message, who went looking for Jesus and and found him in a manger and couldn't then help but tell everyone about the saviour of the world that they had met and how it transformed their lives in that moment. The shepherds going from the hill to the manger and meeting Jesus. Absolutely fantastic. Think of the day you met Jesus, the moment your life changed forever, the day you said yes to following him. Your journey may have had its ups and downs. It may be a long journey and have longevity, or it may be a short one and you've just come to follow Jesus. Things not always looking great, but through it all, Jesus was there with you and he's still there with you. The power of the Holy Spirit in you. You have stories of promises fulfilled, miracle moments and the knowledge that there is more to come. Breakthrough is on its way. And when we realise this, we cannot help but tell others. It becomes our story, our message of what Jesus has done for us, in us, and is continuing to do through us. And when we share our story, when we talk about those moments, we are pointing always to Jesus, his love, acceptance, power, provision, guidance. This helps others in your world to see him and then follow him too. There's a scripture in Romans, in Romans 10, 14, that says, but how can people call for help if they do not know who to trust how can they know who to trust if, if they haven't heard of the one who can be trusted and how can they hear if nobody tells them and how is anyone going to tell them unless someone is sent to do it that's why the scripture exclaims a sight to take your breath away grand processions of people telling them all the good things of God you and I we are that grand procession telling of all the good things of God. Our stories, our moments, those miracles, the provision, that moment that you said yes to following Jesus and something changed in you. As you started to follow Jesus, as you started to know Jesus, as you drew near to Jesus and he drew near to you, our lives, my life was changed forever. And when we do this, when we talk about these moments, when we tell our story, people will get saved because we be, we are the grand procession telling of all, all the good things. And when we do that, when these people follow, when people follow Jesus and we continue to, as it says in Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and then teaching them to follow everything I have commanded you. And surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. This Christmas time, the great Christmas story of the roads, the field and Bethlehem, the promise fulfilled, your story, my story of 
the promises fulfilled of the moments had with Jesus. When we talk about those, when we share those, when we tell others about this incredible story, they will look to follow in Jesus too. And we will see people saved. Have a great Christmas church. And remember your story is powerful. And your journey adventurous. Believing for your breakthrough. Believing for the promises that you have to be fulfilled. Believing that he is with you in the gap. That he is there in every moment. That his timing is, is perfect. And he has you. He's got you. And he's walking with you in and towards your breakthrough. In Jesus' name, have a great Christmas. Be blessed and see you soon. Love you, church. Bye.